Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This is lecture 5H. We're going to think about how the environment contributes to phenotype, thereby confounding and ma sometimes masking the effects of natural genetic variation. We'll think about the effects of environment on height. We'll think about the effects of a particular environmental variable, caffeine, on Parkinson's disease. And we'll think about how a virus can have the same effects as a mutation. And we'll try and integrate all of these into the concept of heritability. Now, as before, we want to understand how the genetic variation causes phenotypic variation, or we want to understand what causes the differences in phenotypes that we see. And the new component is the environment. So let's think about height. Here's a baby girl. How tall is she going to be when she grows up? Well, it depends not just on the genes she inherited, but on her environment. If she's in a poor environment with many, she gets many infections, not enough nutritious food, and she gets little emotional care, little nurturing, she's going to be shorter than if she grows up in an environment with good nutrition. She gets her vaccination so she doesn't get infections. She gets lots of tender, loving care. And this is not just sort of opinion. There is solid data supporting this. When the children of impoverished mothers who would have been receiving inadequate nutrition, the mothers got inadequate nutrition. If the mothers were given a nutrient supplement when they were pregnant, their children were about five centimeters taller. For you Americans, that's about two inches taller at age five. And Another component of the environment is maternal smoking. If the mother smoked, the children's were on average about an in a centimeter shorter at age 11 than if their mothers didn't smoke. These are clearly environmental effects on a trait that we think of as being primarily genetic. So now I want to think back to the concept of heritability. We introduced this in lecture, three, lecture 5C. And we defined heritability as the degree to which differences in phenotype are due to differences in genotype. We won't be able to talk about how we measure heritability until part two, when we've discussed genetic inheritance in detail. But there are components of it that we need to think about now. And that is the extent to which what we are able to measure as heritability depends on the population and the environment. So first, the measurement, the value that we measure for heritability, depends on which alleles are present in the population. We can describe that as the very, how much genetic variation there is in the population. So consider the two different populations. Um, we're looking at the same phenotype. One population is genetically uniform. One population is genetically diverse, but they're in the same environment. Which population will we measure higher heritability for? The answer is we'll measure low heritability for the genetically uniform population. And that's because most of the differences in phenotype in this population are going to be due to differences in environment, not differences in genotype. In the genetically diverse population, we'll measure high heritability because most of the phenotypic differences that we see will be due to differences in genes. So that was the first factor that heritability, that our measurement of heritability depends on. The second factor is the variability of the environment. So consider now a single genetically diverse population that we can replicate into two different environments. In one environment, we can think of it as the fair environment. Resources are evenly distributed. In the other unfair environment, some people get many more resources than others. Which environment will show high
higher heritability for the trait. The genetic features are identical, but the environment A is the one that will give us high heritability. We, when we measure heritability, we'll get a large percent because almost all of the differences in phenotype are going to be due to differences in genes. In the very variable environment, we're going to measure low heritability because much of the differences in phenotype are going to be due to the availability of resources to different people and in an environmental variable. So here's a quiz question for you um, addressing the, what we just covered. In two populations, one from a country with strong disparities in income and one from a, a very fair country, which population would you expect to show higher heritability for height?